Hey, it's your friendly neighborhood art teacher here. And I want to talk about another one of the uh, studio habits of mine. This one is understanding and connecting with the art world. Or is it art worlds? I don't know if you see that. I hope that you can see that. Most people probably think that what that's all about is this. And you're not entirely wrong. Art history is, well, I think it's pretty important. But um, really, in a lot of ways, it's also uh, maybe about, about this. Hey, uh, I got two things going on in my head lately. Just got back uh, this last weekend was uh, the... Uh, Art Educators of Iowa Fall Conference that we actually shared with the Art Educators of Minnesota this year. And I got to tell you, I've been teaching for 30 years. This is my 31st, and I made a huge mistake. Uh, I didn't join right away. My professors, maybe they said something about it and I didn't hear them, or maybe I thought it was too expensive. Uh, but uh, I, I joined... Mm, Oh, going on somewhere between seven and ten years ago, but I never attended a fall conference until last year. Last year was also my first, uh, my first national conference, and uh, you know what? I've learned so much. Uh, but the greatest thing is probably not the um, more art teacher appropriate um, professional development, which is great, great stuff. But I think probably some of the best thing about it is I'm not isolated anymore. <laughs> you know, for years, I'm the only art teacher in the building, whether that's uh, uh, 912 or 612 or K12. Uh, but now I have connected to colleagues that know what it's like to not teach math or English or science or history or PE or music, but art can't tell you uh what great thing that is uh helps you feel not just less isolated but well i think it helps with imposter syndrome because i feel connected and i feel legitimate here's the other thing that i've been thinking about um been working on this a little bit uh this is our second year uh with a chapter of um National Art Honor Society and uh, our art club at Maple Valley High School. And uh, sorry, M-V-A-O-C-O-U. I don't want to leave out any of our schools. <clears throat> but um, the reason why I started, wanted to start uh, a NAS and N-A-H-S uh, back where I taught at Boyer Valley and it was really important to, to have this going here at Maple Valley Antonoto Charter Oak Ute is because art students also need to find their tribe. I think that a lot of times uh, many creatives uh, are you know, either intimidated by or jealous of uh, or in com competition with other uh, creatives and you just don't need to be um our brains work a little bit different than other people and not just visual art you know music and writing and poetry and dance and all those other creative areas too uh and so why should the art students not work with other art students not see what other art students are doing, not support other art students, right? Uh, you know, sports jocks, they get to have their teammates. Band geeks, they get to have their bandmates. Uh, mathletes and uh, quiz bowl kids, they feel kind of included. Uh, so I think that it's important that we open up our sketchbooks once in a while and say, hey, this is what I'm doing. What are you doing? Hey, that's not to uh, minimize the importance of art history. So these other, right? 
uh, because just because we're new doesn't mean we know it all. Uh, definitely contemporary artists and new artists are great to learn from, but so are all those old dead people. They just are. So I really want to encourage everybody to think about how can you share your art? Maybe it's by posting it someplace like Instagram. Don't be embarrassed. Anne Lamont, who's a writer and English teacher, talked about, uh, well, I'll clean her language up a little bit, but uh, crappy first drafts, right? Writing is not just for novelists and playwrights. Writing is a thinking tool. And the thing is, art, same way. Think more about the process and don't worry just about the product. We're not all going to be famous artists in some gallery or the Louvre, like Leonardo, you know. But drawing and doodling and putting pictures in our notes in class, even math and science and English class, can help us process and figure out what we're doing. And so looking at our friends and classmates' art can help us not be such... Yeah, because we can learn from other artists and we definitely don't have to be alone in this. Art's for everybody.